All right, I'm going to review the Brynite HL16 Noctura flashlight combination headband light. Pretty multi-purpose flashlight right here. This is a pretty awesome little light. I've taken it to work. I've tried it out. I'm very impressed with it. So let's get it out of the package. Start it out with, let's get the battery out of this thing. Well, number one, maybe I'll just cover the specs and I just tell you about the battery. But this is the HL16 Noctura, it's called. And you got up to 90 degrees of movement on it. Uh, magnetic charging. Very strong charging base. And the light itself. No frills. You got, I think, four modes. That is be the lowest mode. Five lumens for 80 hours of runtime. And that's the highest mode, 520 lumens for an hour and five minutes. No drop down or step down or anything like that. It's pretty neat. And then 200 lumens for an hour and 40 minutes. 60 lumens for four hours and 30 minutes of runtime on this little guy. Then you got your, like you said, your ultra low. TIR optics, I'm not sure what emitters in it, but the battery it comes with, is a little 650 mil, little 650 milliamp 16340 battery. Small battery. Seems like it does a quite a good job. I haven't ran it down yet. And the other one is a very strong magnetic base. It uh, holds up good. This is awesome for working on, a, say, a vehicle. And angling that light just right. The other one is I wear a helmet at work. This clip works just awesome putting it up inside that helmet. And look at that. See that green? Pretty cool. Pretty rugged. And they're rating, rating this up to 140 meters of throw, which it's Maybe not quite there, but it's pretty close. But we're going to go outside and we're going to find out. I'm going to do you some beam shots on this and then you can determine what you think. And before we get going out there, we got the headband, which I have not used yet. Um, slides in and out quite well. From what I can see, it 
take that back. You got to pull a clip, and it looks like it's easier just to take the battery cover off if you want to use it as a headband light, and then poke it right in. And now you got a decent headband light. Swivels up and down all right. Actually quite holds it quite well. Let's see if this has got memory function. I think I'm on a medium setting right now. Let's shut it off. Wait a couple seconds. Yep, it's got memory function as well, that's cool. Let's get that off the headband. Yeah, you pretty much want to take the battery cover off if you want to take the headband part on and off. No big issue. You got your strobe, just double click, you got that. Wonder if you double click it again. Shuts it off. Goes right to strobe from off. There's high, medium, low, and ultra low. Let's get outside, do some beam shots. Okay, we got a tree at 62 meters. I'm going to take this bright night and turn it on on high beam just to give you an idea how bright this little tiny work light is. 62 meters out, and it hits that tree beautiful. That's on the highest mode. Let's move it down. Tree at 94 meters, it's reflecting off from it. Is that pretty cool or what? That's the highest mode. You can make out that tree line in the background there out of this little tiny light. Pretty neat. Look at that thing. And that's at 62 meters on the highest mode. I just stepped it down one. And it's still touching that tree. That's pretty neat. That's, I do believe, the lowest mode. And you can see the ground in front of me, it's hitting it. I do think that, yeah, that was the lowest mode. There's the brightest mode. Uh, we're going to end up comparing this to car headlights, but pretty decent battery life out of this. And a lot of good features out of this little light. I like this. The high mode itself. And then a medium, and the lowest. Pretty awesome. Look at that thing. Okay, I'm facing my hillside where I'm going to do more videos of, with all the flashlights I review, give you a different perspective of the light output on flashlights and this little bright night on high or turbo shines right up to them trees about 40 meters up no problem and that's the bright night on 40 meter on turbo that's the high mode and what do you call maybe medium bouncing off there pretty good and that lowest mode, it's usable, ain't it? And back to high, pretty neat. This thing really punches out pretty good for such a small little light.
Okay, I got some car headlights on high beam, the HIDs, very bright car headlights, and here's the Brynight on turbo. Give you an idea, comparing it. Two car headlights. The car headlights, or the Brynight, and then the car headlights. Brynight car headlights. That's a pretty good job. I do believe I'm on turbo. Yeah, I was. Car or Brynight car headlights. There you go. Brynight HL16 Noctura. Pretty awesome little EDC work light. Headband light, pocket light. Pretty dear good battery life, if you ask me, on that little battery. Works quite well. I'm impressed. Check that link out down below for this light. There you go. Till next time. Bright night.